Rare Aesthetic, your forger eating tacos. We have assembled, yay! These are my friends from high school. These are my friends from C- oh. <laughs> Our lovely driver and our Thai tea mixer. California scenery is really something. I finally learned why we're called the Golden Street. Look at the happy boy. Oh my god! Look at this abomination that they're creating. I can't see from the glare either. What? It can be an abomination but still be a friend. They aren't mutually exclusive. That is true. This is literally the cheapest gas I've seen since I've like, gotten in California. So, I successfully got COVID-19 verified, but the truly tragic thing that happened was that I asked for the dude who put this wristband on to put it on slightly looser so I could shower. And then he kind of like scoffed at me and was like, no, we can't do that. Because that's like the equivalent of like asking somebody if, if you could pick up like a ticket for your friend. So he like put it on at the tightest setting for me because he probably thinks I'm going to give it to somebody else. Yes. Sad. Sad. Scan. And now I have to sleep with this on. I have to shower with this on. But I guess it's waterproof, so it's fine. Yeah, I hope it's waterproof. Yeah. I don't know. It just feels really cheap. And like, you I don't know. Cut it off and do some quick <laughs> tape. Yeah. Do you think they look at everybody's wrists? No, like, like uh, so okay. I do it in the back of your nose. Well, that that's my or tragic. Would you, or if you do it under here, like under, oh, true. Under it can it can be long, covered by the flappy thing. part. Yeah. Yes, that is my. My tragic story of how I tried to ask a question and then got it's denied in the yes, got denied and backfired on in the most like tragic, saddest way ever. Uh, hopefully tomorrow will be better than this.
there are these, um, there's a Kinokuniya booth and they're selling some very limited edition Wotakoi merch and I am like so determined to get my hands on them. They're selling the final volume of the Wotakoi manga as well and it has like a special edition cover so I want it. I'm gonna exit three? Exit three. Oh this one, wait, north or south? Let's let's hear it again for our driver. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, she's so cute. No end to the season. Welcome to LineCon 2022. But at what cost? Two hundred dollars and two hundred brain cells. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. <laughs> no, no, no. to get all of these individual flashes on but bless you for that tutorial and I feel so good. heading over to the Spikes family meetup. So hopefully I'll be able to meet many of my clones, many of my daughters, many of my husbands. So exciting, yay, oh my gosh. I've never like cosplayed so seriously. And um, I have my $14 wig, which I guess isn't actually all that serious, but I'm still really excited. And I feel like, I feel like I look really good, so.
I need to take this off really quickly. Oh. Oh my god, my hair is gonna be so wide when I take it out of this boot camp. It's not bad. It's actually flat. My head feels so flat because it's just pressed against me. Oh god, it's so itchy. Oh my god, my forehead's so big. That was my own cosplay. second guessing my decisions but uh, hopefully it'll be a great panel i finally made it in but the ac is turned on so dang high in this room i'm i'm wearing like long sleeves and long pants but they're not super thick um fabric is like super thin so i am quite cold to say the least i i don't know why they crank the ice ac so high up like it's literally not even that hot today <laughs>
Whoa, hello, it's a voiceover. I just had some retrospective thoughts about my AX experience that I hope you guys would be interested in hearing. This group of friends and I have been talking and thinking about going to AX ever since we graduated high school in 2018, and only until 2022 did we actually manage to go. This convention went beyond my wildest expectations in size and magnitude, but if I were to be honest, I wouldn't go just to go. I would only go to try and see guests that I'm really interested in. Apparently this year's AX was even more mismanaged than usual, COVID policy enforcement was really bad, there was a situation involving staff being callous to artists and carbon dioxide levels got deadly high in Artist Alley, and that's just a few of the issues. Either way, I survived. I still consider myself to have had a really good time. I spent lots of money, ate lots of good food, met lots of cool people, and most importantly, reaffirmed my love for Japanese pop culture. Until next time, Anime Expo! Maybe you and me don't want